Hello one and all, this is Iron Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in this garage video. Today we are going to be playing with this car. This is the Jeep Willys Civilian. Now it's got a couple of seats, but there are not a lot of engines. So what we've got to do is we've got to rebuild this car. Mainly because what we're going to do is we're going to try and get it up the hill in the off-road track. Going to be completely honest, never done it before, never even been to the off-road track, so I don't know what's in store. So join me in this video as we try to get it to the top of the hill and become king of the hill! Right, okay, so first off what we're going to do is we're going to put this car onto one of the ramps. Uh, overview mode, move car over to car lift number one. Car lift number one basically means we're going to put it up onto the lift. We're going to go through as much of the panels as possible and then we're going to obviously have to buy all the panels. Yay, is all I have to say. Oh, I'm raising the car. No, come down. No, come down. Oh, poo. Down, 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 down. Okay, so as you can see, the car is in pretty rough condition. So we are going to basically try and do a full rebuild, a full restoration, and get this car to the top of the hill. Basically does mean that everything in this car has to be taken off because, well, it's shot to bits. So we're going to have to do a full interior dismantle even though the interior is technically on the exterior of the car. And then we'll go back to normal mode. Is there anything else we can take off? Because it, it is pretty ruined. Right, okay, so no, there's nothing else we can take off. Let's go and get our welder, and then let's go and get our cleaning product so we can do the car up properly, okay? So, over to the cleaner. I'll get that and put that on to number one as well. And then we're going to go and have a mooch about so first let's clean up the interior even though there is no interior yay we cleaned up the interior and it doesn't look any different whatsoever fantastic now we're going to do the welder and we're going oh, i'll just put the welder back a uh, special right okay back to the move equipment back to car lift one then we go back over to here and then we actually use the equipment yeah there we go right fantastic put that back and then we'll go into the tablet then we're going to go on to the body shop and then we're going to build buy all the hood yes and then we're going to put the fenders on then we're going to put the headlights on i didn't buy a license plate so that's going to be fun 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 so what we're going to do is because the wheels are quite big on this we're going to buy some big off-road tires just because we can mainly Okay, plates, we're going to, uh, let's just go with the Alabama ones, because they've got hills on them, and we're going to go and play on the hills. Uh, da, 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 assemble mode, put the license plate on, it's all good. Front window, there we go, got a window. Uh, got the trunk, which is literally a sheet of metal to get us away from the elements. Oh my god, we actually have a rear light, I didn't even see that. Take that off, dirty dirty. Okay, so that's going on, that's going on, and the license plate is the last thing to pop on. Now we need an interior, oh, we forgot to take the crappy wing mirror off. <sighs> Put that on. There we go, one crappy wing mirror. Okay, so we need a steering wheel and seats. Seats, seats, glorious seats. There we go, and that's all the crappy benches that are going to be in this crappy car. Right, next we're going to play with the undercarriage wheels, shall we? Now, I'm going to I'm going to keep this as like as I'm going to try with keeping it nice, but I'm I'm tempted to put on some, you know, fat 20-inch sparkly rims just because I can. But they're obviously going to have off-road tires in them as well, so just trying to keep it off-road. Ah, and we're taking all this apart, taking it apart. Okay, uh, you take the Usain bolts off. And then we take the plate off. And then we'll get rid of these as well. The bushings. Because the bushings are completely knackered. It's a dead car. It's an old car. It's a it's a gone with the wind car. We don't need to do this anymore. So there we go. Let's take the wheel off. Take the drums off. We're, get, we're either going to be replacing a lot of this or we're going to be repairing a lot of this. So we'll see how things go. 
Let's get that one going. Let's get that one off. Let's get this one off. Let's get the suspension off. Or the shock absorber, sorry. Get the other Usain bolts off. So that's just what I call them. For some obscure reason, don't ask me why. Okay. Take the play out. So I'm going to be trying to... I'm trying to do this as quickly as humanly possible. So we're seven minutes into the build already and I'm literally just about to take the finish off the back axle. So you can tell how long this might take. Especially when we might have to rebuild an engine. So I will... I will I'm thinking about skipping the engine section so you guys don't have to watch it being built. You just see the car. So if you are liking this video so far, guys, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. Uh, especially with the fact I'm trying to be doing like a lot of these sort of strange videos and everything. So um, if you do have any ideas about what challenges would you give to me, if you want to challenge me to something, you know, can I build a car with five grand or whatever, chuck it down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear some thoughts and love to hear like, you know, say if people want to challenge me to do something on this channel. Now we can literally just put everything back together. So, with the grand powers of like me working my butt off to try and do this as quickly as humanly possible, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be laying into the rear axle now, chucking it all back together and making sure the sock absorbers are on properly. Replacing all the rubber bushings because we're trying to make this car go up a really big hill. Now, I'd, as I said, I don't really know what this hill looks like because I've never done this before. Um, so it's going to be fun. And this was literally a challenge that I found out on Reddit. I put up a post to see what there was available to what can what can you can do in this game for like challenges wise. And some guy said, why don't you build the Jeep and um, chuck it up the hill in the off road? So I've never been there. I've never I've never even attempted this before. Should be quite interesting. Um, as I said, I'm not sure what it is. So I'm I'm literally gonna build this car and hope that it's not that bad. So that's sort of the reason why I went with the bigger tyres and the slightly thicker tyres because you get a bit more traction and a bit more friction on the uh, on the mud. If it's mud. Oh, I didn't put the um, thingies on. Give me a sec. Let me just zoom into that. Oh, there we go. Much better. Right, let's chuck these on. One on there, one there, it is all good. One there. We'll just make sure we get everything on the car before we put the, the tire back on because once I put the tire on, that's sort of like, yeah, I finished that side, it's all good. It doesn't work like that if you're if you're tireless. Right. Put the bushing on. Right, now we put the plate in and then we put the Usain bolts back. There we go. Right. Cooley Oaks. Right. Stick that back on. Stick the plate and drum back in. And then put the wheel back on. Ta da! Da 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 da. All good. Okay, so now we need to get the fuel tank and the exhaust off. Because that's proper knackered as well. So we'll unmount the fuel tank, unmount the mid exhaust and the upper now I'm not sure what the end exhaust is going to be because I don't have one so yeah as you can see the wheel difference already it, it looks a little bit nicer personally I got rid of my um, the thing that I need. <sighs> so it's going to be a 14C at least. Okay, so now we're going to the tablet and now we're going to be looking on to the exhaust. So we need to go back into the parts, go to the exhaust and look for 14C. It's going to be the front end. 
front pipe 14C. There you go. Not too shabby if you ask me. So I think we need a mid section. So that's just going to be the mid muffler. And then the rear end, I'm hoping there's a 14C exhaust. If not, I'm just going to buy the wall. Rear exhaust, rear exhaust, rear muffler, rear section. It doesn't give me one. Right, okay, so I'm, I'm just going to pot like a guess, I think. I think it's this one. We'll take the OHV. Oh, man, this sucks because I, I got rid of the one I needed. It's just going to be a single pipe. Let's take that and hope. I mean, if it's not that one, then we'll just put the right one on. Aha! Got it right. I've only built one of these before. The reason why I never really built them is because, in fairness, I mean, they're a bit, well, you know, they're not very expensive cars. You don't really make a lot of profit out of them, so there's not really much point in doing them. That's how I see them, unfortunately. But, you know, this is for a challenge to get to the top of the hill in a Jeep. So hopefully this car proves its worth. I hope. Because if not, it's just going to be funny. Alright, so that's this bit coming off. We've got to take all of this off. And don't forget about the ring that's on the back of the uh, the knuckle. That's a, that's one thing that threw me off about this car. When I first did it, um, it was the, on the on the back of the knuckle. You've got this, you've got a ring. This one here. I thought that was part of the actual knuckle itself. And it's a separate component. When I first did this, I was like, where is it? What's wrong with it? And it's like, I couldn't take it off. Genuinely thought the game had stalled out on me. Turns out it's just my stupidity. It's all good. Oh, now what's that attached? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, there's a bush still in it. Take the bush now. Leaf spring's gone. Right, let's go and take the other wheel off. All good. Right. Next, we are taking off the brake drum again. We're taking off all of this stuff off the bottom. Then we've got to rebuild the engine. And this is probably going to be a 40-minute build. So if you are sticking this out until the end, thank you very much for kicking by. If you are liking this video so far, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification button below for all other videos. And like I said, I'm, I'm accepting challenges. So if you, guys want to, if you guys want to put a challenge down in the comment section, chuck it down there. I, I'd love to hear from you. Let's get the knuckle off. Let's get the Usain bolts off. And that one. And that one. And that one. Oh no, we can't take that off because we've still got rubber bushings in it. Let's get the other bushing off. And that one. Okay, so this has got a drive shaft F on it as well. So we've got to take, we've got to buy two drive shafts for this car. Funky, right? Take the steering rack off. Take the axle off. It's all good, right? So now we'll try and repair as much as we can. If we don't repair it, then it's all going in. There. And then we get to stick all this back together. Oh, the joys, right? Put the knuckle back in and put the ring in. Yeah, so we did re we did get them repaired. I was just making sure, just making sure. Okay, rule hub four, that's going in as well. Then we're going to be sticking this on. And then we're going to be putting the bushing on. Because they have, it, everything has to be new for this, unfortunately. Because it's one of those challenges. It's like, how far can you get up the hill with a brand new car, basically? Which is what this car will be. Everything's going to be brand new on it. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get to the top. As I said, I don't know what the hill's like. I've never, I've never done this challenge before. So, it's... It's definitely um, challenging, even for an idea. Worst comes to worst, that this engine can't cope, and we don't make it to the top. And then I have to go out of my way to try and find something like a Jeep Wrangler, and try and get that to the top. Because that would probably be able to do it, because it's more of a modern day engine. It's more, it's easy to get to the top, so we shall see. Oh, I just didn't, I didn't put the wheel on. Right, cool. Okay, next we go on with the drum wheel cylinder. 
put the brakes in. Where the brake shoes. I wish I wish we could do brake upgrades, so you'd make these make these older cars safer. Obviously, because like new technology for brakes, having disc brakes does really help. Um, being able to put disc brakes on a Jeep would be fantastic. Being able to upgrade engines to make them more modern day would be awesome as well. Now that's the other thing. I don't know if we can upgrade this engine. I don't think we can. I didn't look into the actual um, like swapping. I don't think we can. I really don't think we can do it. Anyways, knuckles nearly finished. Let's put the tie rod back on. Let's put the shock absorber back on. And let's put the leaf springs in. So leaf springs. It is all good. There we go. So I, know I, I prefer doing leaf spring jobs over like all the newer style of like brakes. And the re well, not the brakes, suspension. And the reason why is because it's more simpler. You know, a couple of a couple of U-bolts, a couple of bits, and we're done. But then if you look at like the more modern day cars that we have to repair in this game, you've got like all the you've got the different rubber bushings, you've got all the different components. I know it's supposed to make the game a little well, it's making cars like more safer with better components, but leaf springs are just simple. And I like doing simple, it's all good. Putting on the brake shoes again. Like I said, we need modern brakes. We need to be able to transfer these into like modern brakes. That would be cool. Let's put that up and then let's put the wheel back on. Now obviously the wheels are a little bit bigger than normal, but I am trying to go up a big hill. So we're making this more like tractor style. It gives it a more of a meaner stance as well. It's like, yeah, we'll get out of the way. Okay, so the only things we've got left to do are the gearbox. So we're going to have to buy a new transfer case, which is okay. And I'm taking all this apart. And I don't even... Right. Okay, so we've taken off the transfer case. Moving on to the gearbox. And the gearbox is just going to be a simple... It's a 14C. I think a lot of this engine is basically standard 14C parts. So that's all good. It's a 14C engine. So what we can do, as the gearbox is not attached and there's nothing else attached to the car... We can lower this down, open the hood up, and get the engine out. Okay, so where's my lift? Need me lift, mate. Yeah, lifter. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's pry the engine out. All good. So whilst the engine's out, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the brake servo and the radiator. Because unless we can repair them, they're a little bit shot. And then we can repair the gearbox and all the other comp the components as well. Okay, so we can repair the gear, but we need a we need a transfer case and we need a brake servo. I'm in the goddamn engine area. God damn it! There we go. Brake servo going in. Radiator going in. All good. Right. Fantastic. Now let's um, attach the engine that we've got. It's going to be everything to do with the 14C, and there's not really a lot left of this car, so or this engine, sorry. So we're going to rotate to the right. We're going to take off the flywheel, the cut, the clutch, the clutch plate, and the bearing, and then we'll be all good. And I just did all that in backwards. So yeah, that's the order you put them into. So we're going to need six to eight pistons, a crankshaft 14C, camshaft 14C. Why oh, can't? Oh my God! There's actually a bear. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Never had a gear left on it. Let's see if we can clean this up. If we can't, then you know what? It's all good. So everything to do with the 14C engine, really. Should be pretty basic then. Okay, so I've bought as much as I can think of with this engine. Um, I've actually bought a couple of boosted parts of the world to give me the better chance to get to the top. So this basically means I'm, I'm not really cheating. I've just decided to invest a little bit more money into this car instead of just doing it standard and maybe struggling. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a cheat, but, you know, we're, we're all good.
Fantastic! Oh, right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this party started. Take off the engine, put it into the. Oh, we need to lower the car because the car's 15 feet above us. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put the engine in. 14's going in. Let's move the crane because we don't need this in front of the car anymore. And let's top her up with oil. Because oil is a necessity for driving a car, apparently. You can't use just anything. It has to be premium motor oil. From the country of Darset. Right. So that's the whole engine. That's everything connected. That's all good. Let's get the gearbox up. Now, I did buy a boosted gearbox as well because I want to cheat. I'm going to put this car up to its places. So I did buy the, the nicely 14C giant gearbox. The nice shiny new one. I want this car to get to the top, and I don't know how it's going to work, so it's all good. Let's put the transfer case back on. It's all good. Put the drive shaft on. Not forgetting the one at the front as well. Drive shaft F. We can put that onto the car. We've got to put a starter on, but uh, the starter has to be done for the engine bay. Apart from that, I think we're done. So, um, yeah, we're going to put this on the dyno and we're going to see how how effective this is going to be now. There we go. Awesome! Right. Now we have a fully working thingamajig it. Assemble. Oh, no, we're, we're going to treat this car to a paint job. You know, because it, it's putting, it's going to put up with me. So, it's all good. Right, let's go to the paint job. Let's, what colour should we paint this? I'm gonna go black with skulls if I can get it. I probably can't. It's gonna be a bit of a shame. But black, black, black is pretty badass. We're gonna go chrome. Just, just because we can. It's gonna be chrome with camouflage. <laughs> oh yes, we're driving Action Man's Jeep now. How cool does this look? We need to get this in some proper light. Let's get this over to the dyno. Let's have a look at it. Oh, no. We just put it in the test. No, we put it in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Clip B is missing. Oh, you've got to be joking. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, this, this, this blows. Clip B. It's like one of those jobs you have to stick your tongue out and just go, I might be able to get it. I've got to be honest, I like this camo. <laughs> this is pretty funky, actually. Right. Yes, I'm pro yes, proceed. So this was originally 60 horsepower. Right, let's see what we've done to it. Because we put boosted parts into it. There's a boosted gearbox on it as well. We've made it a little bit cleaner. We've put bigger wheels on it as well. It's going to be pants. But you never know. Not bad. 79. Okay, so we gained a 32% on that one. Nice. Right, so let's go and put this next to the door. Still, so, after all that money being poured into this car, you get 79 horsepower out of it. <laughs> okay, so we're going off to the off-road track now. We're going to go and fight the hill. Um, I've never done this before. So let's let's go. Okay, so here we are. We made it to the off-road track, and here we are in our 18-inch in rimmed Jeep with metallic camouflage paint because we're pimping this up. So we're going to basically test this car out. Now, because this is an off-road track, I don't know what to expect. I've never been here before. 
we're just going to be trying to get around the whole track so hopefully this will be able to go with it now some people would say that smaller wheels would help some people say smaller bigger wheels help so we went with the bigger option just to see what happens now this car is boosted as well so we've got a little bit more power so let's go shall we so the first set of obstacles looks like it's a little bit easy so little bits of log and things like that that's all good we can go with that it's, that's class let's yeah let's go I think the other downside about this is there's no driver. You know, I mean, yeah. It's, it's okay, so here we go. I'm going to go for the hill right now because it's there and we've got to go up it. Come on, we can do this, we can do it. King of the hill. There we go. And a huge decline. What? Yeah, that's got. Wow. Okay, we almost spun out. Okay, let's get back on track. Let's go around the corner, around the corner, around the corner, around the corner. Let's go this way. Hey, we did it right okay little logs shouldn't be too much of a problem and a little rocky section and then up onto the corner oh. as you can see the suspension is really well put together thank you very much Michael it definitely works like suspension wise no we're now stuck no we're not we can get out of here Oh, there's no traction whatsoever. Let's go up the big hill. And down the little one. And up that one. I think we've got to go up the big hill again. Going by this uh, weird layout. Here we go. Easy. It's actually not that easy. Even for a boosted Jeep, this thing does not like going up that hill. Oh, we spun out again. Okay, now we're going straight on. Here we go. So we've done a fair whack of the course. I don't know where we're going. Is this where we're supposed to be going? I assume so. Yeah, let's jump through everything. That's all good. So I'm not sure if having big wheels is having like a, a mass effect on this get on this car. So a little bit more of a rocky section. It's all good. Oh, we're supposed to be going over these big hills. Oh, yeah. Taking it like a champ. It is all right. And now we're going to go around this corner. A little bit more of a sort of like a delicate section. Yeah, we're not going to get too delicate. Up the rocky road. Rocky road, rocky road. Down the hill and follow the road around. Yeah, we can make this. It's all right. Down this section, into the woody log section. And then into the stones. Where we've just ground the front of our car. No fault of my own because it's the bumper that got stuck. And there we go. Made it. Extreme. Actually, I don't think we, uh, we, we weren't supposed to go through that, but we were supposed to go around the corner. Fantastic. Well, as you can tell, this car does work. Now we're going to take it back to the workshop and uh, unfortunately sell it on. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. Okay, so we boosted it to 79 horsepower. We conquered the hill in the off-road course and we gave it this really cool metallic camouflage paintwork. With 18 inch rims, a chain link steering wheel, and just everything brand new in general with a boosted engine as well. Well, partially boosted. So, let's see what this is all worth. Was it worth my time and effort? It's worth 28,136 uh, 28, uh, and the battery's dead. Did I not pump the battery up? Like, give me a second. Where is the, Where did we put the battery? Oh, there's the battery. Maybe that's why this car wasn't very good. Is it because I used the car? Maybe? We'll put a clean battery in it. It's all right. There we go. 28,286 pound uh, dollars. Or car mechanic dollars. And 5,657 restoration bonus. It's a 100% car. It, it so thank you very much for joining me in this video. This is Hybrid's Garage. I want to say thank you very much for popping by. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. I'll be back here with another video of Car Mechanic Simulator or anything else that I'll be doing on this channel. Until then, peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye.